Hello there, I'm Judith Royal from the Royal Treatment and this is Food for Thought for the week of October 27th. And we're working with the virtues, the gifts of character. And the card that I chose on behalf of all of us today is humility. Now where does this take us today? Humility is being modest, humble and unpretentious. We consider others' views and needs as important as our own. We willingly serve others and accept help when we need it. When we cause hurt, we have the humility to admit it and make amends. We accept the, le the lessons life brings, knowing that mistakes are often our best teachers. Humility is not humiliation. We do not shame ourselves or others with the illusion that we are meant to be perfect. We give out our very best and trust that that is enough. Humility reminds us to be thankful for our successes rather than boastful. And so I want to draw our attention to the word perfect and our need to be perfect and always be right. And especially when we're out in the world out there making a living, our credibility depends on us being perfect. However, that's really not necessary. Uh, sometimes when we admit that we don't have the answer, people have see us as more approachable and, and human. And so this need to be perfect uh, often causes us to go even more out of balance, especially when we're hitting a glitch in life. We tend to think that we'll have to try even harder to be even more perfect and have all the answers. And really it is um, it only has to do with realizing what's more important, being perfect and having all the answers or being happy. And sometimes by portraying that we need to have all the answers and be right, that um, there is no room for error even for ourselves and certainly for the people that we're with and are around us. <clears throat> so really what is most important is that we can answer the question, yes, this is my very best. And so the thought uh, comes from Helen Keller. I long to accomplish great and noble tasks, but it is my chief duty to accomplish humble tasks as though they were great and noble. And the practice of humility, which you will see on the screen after, I value others' thoughts and feelings. I am willing to give and receive help. I am a work in progress. I admit mistakes and learn from them. I am resilient, not perfect. I am grateful for my gifts. And so the final thought, I am thankful for the gift of humility. It is my greatest teacher. And isn't that the truth? Sometimes our failures are our best teachers, not necessarily our successes. And with that, I'll say, bye for now.